Okay, so now working from the body lock. So you've gone from your single, you've gone through that little sequence, you've got to your rear body lock. Now I can take him down from the body lock. So two really simple ways. So the first one I can pick him up. So we go through the pickup, and then we'll look at if you've got someone a bit bigger than you, you can't pick them up, or you're later on into a contest or a match and you're really fatigued and you don't want to be exploding from this position. So first the pickup, I'm going to take a gable grip. So I'm going to come here, I take a gable, and now what I want to do with this gable is start to bring it round to his belly button. Okay. So get this right, this is not what I'm doing. I'm not standing behind him and going like this. Because now he breaks the grip and hips out every single time. So I get the body lock, I need my body on one side and my hands on the opposite side. So I'm like this. Now from here, when I come to pick him up, I'm going to bring my hands closer to his belly button. But this leg's going to come closer to my hands. So it's like I was trying to knee him. In his, in his bollocks. Okay, so go here. As I bring my hands close, a step. Here. And now I'm going to lift his hips to the ceiling. And all I'm doing is a small lift. I lift his hips to the ceiling, so I might not even get his feet off the floor. I might just get tiptoes. I lift to the ceiling and then whip him to force him to put his hands down, which is why I get total. Okay, so come gable. Comes to his belly button, simultaneous with this leg, stepping in. When I'm ready, lift and whip, forcing to put them down. Now I can choose what side I want to be working on. We'll lock that inside thigh, and then I can start to work to his back. So from the full sequence, it should look like this. Grips, cross wrist, snap. Posture, blast, single, move, single to body lock, gable, whip, get the pick up. Now, if I'm really tired and fatigued, he's heavier than me, for whatever reason I don't feel like I can pick him up. What I like to do then, I lock the hands. Now I'm going to take an S grip instead of a gable. I need a little bit more space for this. So I'm going to go S grip. And now with this elbow, I want to try and pull this elbow across his thigh. So I come here and I go pop. And see, I've brought my hands to his belly button. Now my elbow is going tight across the top of his thigh. So now even if I don't use this knee, if I don't use this knee, I just tilt to my left. It's still hard for him to stand up, okay? Because what I'm doing is putting all his weight on this, but this full forearm and elbow is blocking and disabling his legs, so he can't go with it laterally. So I go here, I pull the elbow across the top of the thigh, and now this knee is just going to knock in front of his. Now I'm completely blocking this side. Now I'm going to run to my left, and he shouldn't be able to follow because his left leg can't move. So I can drag him down to turtle. And now I can go into whatever I want to work from. From the attacking turtle position. So I'll get the body lock. Here. I bring the elbow over the thigh. The left leg hits the knee. And I run sideways. Drag him to the mat. Go into your position every time that you like to attack the turtle from. <laughs>